Hello all, welcome back. This is Cristobal Dyna from Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to create Hello World program in Django. Django is actually a Python web framework with which we can develop secure and maintainable websites. So this Django requires Python to be installed. So make sure Python is installed in your system. You can check the version of Python by just giving Python double hyphen version in your command prompt. This will give you the version of Python. If you have not installed Python, then go to this website python.org downloads. There you can download the latest version of Python for your specific operating system. Install Python. After that, now let me create a folder for Django projects. I prefer d colon pycharm projects. Let me create a new folder for Django projects in this path. So in d colon pycharm projects, let me create a new folder called Django project. Then move on to this Django projects. Django projects folder is created now. Before installing Django, we have to create a virtual environment. You should know what is the virtual environment and do we really need a virtual environment for Django. It is highly recommended and virtual env is a tool to create isolated python environments. So if you are starting fresh and you are using the latest versions, then maybe you need not use it. But still, it is always a good practice to install virtual environment and then start using it before you install Django. In my system, I have not installed Django till now. So I am going to create the virtual environment and only then I will be installing Django. And what is the need for a virtual environment? Just consider this scenario where you are working in two different web projects, A and B. For project A, you are using uh, Python 3.9 and Django 4.0. And for project B, you are using Python 3.7 version and Django 3.2. Now, let us assume that you are going to work on a new machine where you have not yet installed Django. In that case, will you install Django 4.0 or Django 3.2? In that case, virtual environment will be the solution. You can create two different virtual environments. One for project A and another for project B. Whenever you need to work in project A, you can just activate the virtual environment for project A. And similarly, whenever you need to work for project B, you can activate the virtual environment for project B. So if you want to know what Python version can be used with the Django, you can just visit this website, Documentations of Django. So they have mentioned the list of Python versions and what Django versions do they support. Okay, now this command prompt, install virtual environment first. To install virtual env tool, pip install virtual env. Okay, so successfully installed. Now we can create the virtual environment in this folder Django projects. Virtual env and the virtual environment name specifically for that folder. Okay, the virtual environment is created. You can just check in the folder which we have created, Django projects, vnv. Okay, I'm going to use PyCharm IDE here. So the folder we have created is Django projects. Okay, you can also run the commands from this terminal. Either you can prefer PyCharm or you can do it in the command prompt. Okay, let me activate the virtual environment. So I will continue the activation part from PyCharm. So to activate the virtual environment, env slash scripts slash activate. So this vnv at the beginning of the terminal lets you know that you are running in the virtual environment right now. Now we can install Django. Pip install Django. In case if you want earlier version, you can just give double equal to and mention the version specifically. This one will install the latest version of Django. Okay, successfully installed Django. If you want to know what version it is, Django hyphen admin. It gives the version number 4.0.3. Now let's start creating the Hello World program. First, we need to create a Django project. 
for one website you will be having one project inside that particular project you can have as many number of django apps as you need okay so we have used django admin here it is uh, django's command line utility for administrative task now to start a particular project we have to use django hyphen admin start project and you can give the name for the project as hello underscore project you can give any name for the project this command will automatically create a hello project folder as well as the necessary files for a basic at the same time fully functional django website so here we have got hello project we have got various files out of this we will be modifying settings.py and urls.py settings.py controls the project's overall settings whereas this urls.py will tell django which pages to build in response to a browser request okay then let's create a django app so inside this project we are creating an app that is used for handling a particular section of the website so for a website you can have more than one apps one can be used for user authentication another for payments so now move on to the folder hello project okay here i'm going to create the app using the command django hyphen admin start app give the app name it's up to you let me give hello world app the app is created got this hello world app now inside the hello world app we have got various files out of which we are going to modify this views.py alone so this the hello project will not be knowing about this hello world app on its own so we have to mention it in the django project settings.py open this settings python file you have to go for installed apps in the installed apps we have to add our app name at the end so our app name is hello world app okay that's it we have added our app name to the installed apps next actually in django it requires at least three files to show what happens in a particular web page when a client goes to a particular url that means he or she sends a web request to the server this views.py will be having a view corresponding to that particular url request and then that data will be sent back as a response to the client okay that's what is happening in a web page so now let's write a simple view in this views.py file so that will show hello world in the browser so we'll open this let's import http response from django.http let's import http response to create the views let me define a function say hello it takes an argument request it's going to return the http response so what we need is hello world h1 we change the color of the text as red and then hello world learn django here close this h1 tab okay that's it with views.py file now we need to move on to the urls.py file of the project folder that is hello project this urls.py is the base urls for our website you can then forward request to your apps urls.py using include okay we have some import statements already from django.urls you have imported path we should also import include here then add the path include the urls file of hello world app dot urls file so it means we have to create a urls file for hello world app by default we have urls file for the project whereas for app it is not given we have to create urls file by ourselves so you can just copy paste it from the project urls py then we shall remove the admin path and add the necessary line copy this and paste it in hello world app so this 
this is the hollow wall tab URL start py we need not use this line from django.urls import path and include and one more import statement from dot views import that function say hello remove this path and modify this one as path then the function name say hello and name equal to say hello that's it now we can run the server using this command python manage dot py run server so the sequence is that the url mapping will redirect request from the project urls to the app urls and then to the respective function so you can start the development server at this location and check our output so we got hello world learn django here you can come out of this by pressing ctrl c if you want to deactivate the virtual environment just give deactivate so you have come out of the virtual environment now so this is a basic example for a django project we'll see much more projects in django later that's it thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe